hey guys welcome back to another video today we have this wonderful form build that i've been working on on live stream and so i have this tour set up and which we're gonna be in three parts because of the three builds first we're gonna start off with the silo and the next video to come will be for the main house and then we'll have the barn afterwards so let's begin before we begin, I want to first thank all these wonderful people from Patreon and YouTube membership for keeping the channel going. Thank you so much for your support. So to do the silo guys, we'll need to start off with a octagonal layout. So we start off with two of these at two meter stone wall, rotate it two times and make this side, rotate it two times. And have this side, rotate it two times and we have this side. We do that again until we meet okay so your layout should basically look like this and what we're going to do is that we're going to raise the walls about six stone walls high so we already have one and then we're going to proceed by going up uh, one more and we start off by making the wall staggered so we, we do the small stone walls in the corners seeing that we have the two meter stone walls at the base and then we fill that in with a two meter stone wall in the middle then we switch back over to the stone wall two meter stone wall mainly and then we go we continue with that until we are six stone walls in a height okay guys so what you should have right now is what you see on the screen so i've made the walls uh, staggered it is up to you if you want to stack it uh, straight up if you want to be easy about it but that honestly staggered walls always look great when you're doing uh stone builds like this and this is a partial stone build but we're gonna move on to the next section which is pretty easy but first we need to frame out our doorway and um, let me just get a one meter stone we're gonna need that to fill back these little corners right here fill that in and we're gonna use one of the, the, the gate as a door so we'll just fill that in fill that in and then we just get the wooden gates here and we can either make it snap right in like that be pretty easy and we can just add a bit more detail for our door jam just can wrap it around simply like this fill this area here and add a little bit of detail up the top right here switch over to a one meter wood and uh, something like that and for our size we want to use the four meter stone wall and we just basically wrap this all around bill like this and we're going to switch on over to our stone stairs add a bit more detail but before we do that let's start off with our column first so that we can clean the edges right here so we're just going to rotate it so a little bit more snap like this at front like that and we just do the same for the other side we can do this for in between and just snap in like that and we just do some right here basically just fill in all the gaps all around the bill and switch on over to our stairs and what we're going to do is that we're going to aim on top of the four meter stone wall until the stairs basically tucked halfway in and we have it snapped in looking like that and we just do the same right here we just want to make sure that it snaps in properly so best if you're doing so you just get a ladder and able to snap it in properly like that and we're just basically doing this all the way around the bill until it's all done so basically when you're done your base should look like this and then we're just going to move up to the top here so we're going to use our one meter to find that snapping point i wanted to point in the, the middle so let me just show you how to find that is this this is a straight wall and this uh, one meter wood is pointing in that same direction so it's just one tick to find that perfect center there so you would basically do the same thing on uh, each of these uh, corners here so you just have to make sure that it is pointing in its own direction not this wall or the other wall that is also beside it and the reason being that, that we need to put a snapping point here for the wood like this and there's a reason why we need to do that because we want to place the stake fence okay so when we have all of them snapped in like this we can get our stake wall and we're going to use the back part of it so i like the back part because of the detail uh we get from it and basically you're going to snap it right there at the edge uh like that well this came over a bit so it should come over to that point and this should snap right beside it like that and we just have this come over 
and this snaps beside it like that so there shouldn't be any overlap in the next bit of detail that we're going to add is that we can switch on over to a two meter beam and we're just going to clean up the edges here for, for our build and we're just going to carry that around and then we will switch on over to the 45 degree and what we're going to do is that we're going to snap it right here in these little corners these little middle snapping points Okay, our next set of details what we're going to add is we're going to use the core wood and we're just going to add a, another layer right here now how i'm going to add this i'm holding down on shift key so that it doesn't snap in by itself and just making sure that it lines up uh perfectly for that side and then we just carry this around hold down on shift key let's look at the edge uh that's look fine and we just can wrap this around again shift key and just snap that in so just uh, do this all the way around until you're until you're done so the next thing that we're going to do is that uh, right in the, the tower we're going to add these uh, with iron poles to provide some support for the top of the tower because we're going to switch out between the stake walls and the regular two meter wall so we're going to alternate uh, with each of them each having their own rows so we need that support when we're going up further so i'm going like a total how high are we going is about eight of these rows so it's like four of these stake walls and four of the regular walls so right at this point is where we kind of switch to the regular wooden wall we just stack it on top like this so we'll just snap right in and when you have that row done then we switch on over back to the stake wall and we just rotate it show the back so that is basically the idea so you basically have a stake wall regular wooden wall stake wall regular wooden wall so you should have a total of four stake wall and four regular wooden wall when you go up to the top now you would slowly bring this the wood iron beam support up so that you have proper support for when we need to start the roof okay, so the next bit of detail that we're going to add is where the wood wooden wall and the stake wall meet so right here and i want you to look closely to where i'm pointing the wood because we have a little wood here this uh, stake section here kind of push out a bit so if i should snap this uh, this core wood on top you will see that there is a space and it's basically resting on this little vertical uh stake there so don't want you to snap it on top of it but aim right in between there where you until you get this point where it's snapping to the side of it you can just go back a bit you get something like that uh we can carry it up a bit because we want to hide where the stake and the wooden wall meet and then we do the same here on the other side i'm, I'm holding down on shift key doing manually placing all of this and we have a snap like this now the easy part is that you can just uh automatically snap with it like that and just uh, for the rest right here you just manual place it in just make sure it's lined up make sure that it's not snapping on top of this little piece of the stake wall here do like that carry it around basically repeat the same thing make sure that everything is lined up do like that carry it around and we just basically do all the same thing for all of this like what you see now until we are done also just one want to add another bit of detail i've done here is i've snapped a half wall right in this section of the where the stairs is so you will find that snapping point when you aim right here just like this and you can just snap it going around and having that little detail in that section so i'm just going to do that off screen and then we can focus on the roof afterwards also just want to mention as well i came up with the wood iron pole about nine so it's uh, stacked about uh, nine wood iron pole Good. okay so the next part we're going to focus on is the roof and so for the top right here we're going to get our one meter wood and basically points in between this gap here so it should be set like this and we just do the same here on uh, all of these gaps and we want it to start off with uh, 45 degree placing on top of that and also pointing in the same line with those uh one meter wood to do this uh, all around and we switch over to our 26 degree and we're doing about two of these 26 degree until it meets in the center like that so we're just doing this for every one of them okay so once you have all the 
roof beams in you can add the two meter with beams right here going across because we're going to need it to place our roof pieces um, easy for the roof here i'm going to start off with the 45 degree now i'm using the dark wood shingle roof i prefer that but uh, you have the option of using regular roof piece it should snap in easy like uh, this and we're just basically doing that and then we just switch on over to the 26 degree and we just basically snap there's a middle snapping point right here as you can see pretty easy and we just snap in like this it may overlap on one side so that is fine you can uh, make it um, overlap going around in this direction so everything kind of balance out so it's uh, let's do this side here and basically that is it we don't have to really worry about this middle section here seeing that all the beams have cut across to make this little unit design the part that we need to do is our staircase and we're just going to snap the staircase about right here where you see it's in line with this little portion of the wall that little crease here with the staircase right here at the, at the front so it's in line and then we just uh, rotate it face that wall and it should overlap it uh, like that it's pretty easy so i'll follow along after which you can just continue wrapping it around like that it is crucial that you get that first snapping point there to line up with the two meter in between the two meter and that one meter wall that little crease crease there and we're just going all the way up with this like so we, we maybe can put uh maybe a floor right here or first floor so we could put like use our wooden floor for this so we have our first floor done and we have these little beams uh poking out we can make use of them we can basically use them as a uh, little shelves to store a couple maybe chests or whatnot and maybe we can use like uh some of these uh chests right here to store some of our food or grain you know stuff like that the space here to go up uh, with our our ladder and we can create another level right here now the amount of level you can create it's up to you i'm just kind of giving you like a basic idea of what you can do with the space because we have a lot of space going up and the fact that we have the wood iron beams to provide support which is not a problem doing so but the next part we're going to try work out is where we're going to have our little crane to make believe pulling up stuff to the top of the the silo so the next bit of detail that we're going to focus on is create or make believe crane to pull up some of the goods into our silo so i'm just going to make an opening right here just to show you where i am at so it's just a little bit uh well to this side here it all depends on how you uh position your stairs coming up you yours may be different depending if you do it uh, differently so we're gonna switch on over to like a half wall we just put it right here maybe spin this around like this and we're just going to make use of our iron beam right here so we just can connect these about here uh, let me just take this one out make sure that that's overlapping get one of our core wood to basically poke out i uh, don't have a central snapping point so we'd have to make our own by manually place it in right there and we just get for one meter wood and we're going to snap it on top uh like like this should have something like that get our wood iron uh to snap right here and we may have to snap some wood iron inside for this or we can bring across the cage for uh, support so let's see if we can get this in place so for the cage we wanted to snap further into it like this and basically bring this across just just for looks so we see if we can squeeze the last one in and we can do it like that so that is fine we can switch on over to our item stand and we snap two of these side by side each other and we're going to add two shield preferably the brown uh, wooden shield without any any color so it's a uh, the well the bandage shield is uh, is one yes we can use so just make two of those and we're just going to add those right now so it's seven let's just add that 
and adapt this at the moment. Let's see if we can get that going. There we go. So we had our little wheel going. So we should have something looking like this. Then we can switch on over to our brazier. Brazier should have enough support to pull it. So it should look like this. And we just want to make sure that we don't have any problem when it's breaking. We can snap a bit of iron within this core wood. Or we can do it on top. Whichever is fine. So like this. And just make sure that it has uh, adequate support so that this doesn't break. Then we can switch on over to our cage. Well, preferably, you can use a one meter wooden floor and try to aim in between here. There's a that snapping point. And this kind of look at the creases of the one meter wood. I mean, this is a bit closer. So the creases of the one meter wood, uh, bring it as close as possible in line with the chain like this. Let's see if we can bring this further in. Trying to set it as best as possible. Let's see if we can go out a bit. And we should have something looking like. Let's go for the 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 two by two wooden wall, and we can just center it like this. And we just get a bit of detail to the side, wrapping around with some two meter or wooden beam. And then we can add a few little stuff. This will make it look like we're pulling up some goods that is it for the build guys let me know what you think about the stake walls being used in future build and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more our next build is the watermill farmhouse that you saw earlier in the preview video and don't forget to always aspire to inspire peace